category moved so your parents can be bumped up. Because when you file as a green card, the waiting time is different. Once you're a citizen, that waiting time get eliminated. But you can always, just to me, just to put them in line, I would say go ahead and file. And then once you get your citizenship, just call and let them know that, hey, I got naturalized. So that way your pri their priority dates, that's the word. I couldn't think of it. The priority date will get bumped up. But they're already in the system. This so information is yeah. great. I love it. A lot of people used to think that, oh, let me wait. And if they came to me, I'd tell them, like, hey, why you? Yeah, you can file for them on your green card. Why you on your green card? So that way they're already in the system. But again, people. <laughs> entrepreneur. <laughs> Look at hmm? entrepreneur first time. Can you get a green card if you come here on a boat? You got to marry somebody. Find a way for you to get it. Find a way for you to get the green card. People, Mexicans cross the border all the time. You see, her advice so nice. She named Empress. <laughs> and Empress said, when you get filed for, for someone, some places you get two years green card. While if it's been in the system for a while, probably you will lucky and get the 10 right away. But sometimes that is luck, right? You, can, you will get the 10 if it's in the system pending for like two years. Is, is that so? Say that again, Richie, sorry. Like the, the the green card, if it's in if it's pending for like two years, when they give you, sometimes you will get the ten same time, or you just get the. Because so uh, I know people, I know persons who get that. So the marriage based, right? Marriage based. So it's different type of ways and priority dates and everything. So marriage based people, if you whether you outside or you inside the country, however you get married to somebody, what they do is they give you a two year visa, which is a conditional one. So you get the conditional one, and then after the two years, then you would get your permanent green card, which is the 10 year. But some people, they forget after they want to get naturalized. Eventually, you're going to get naturalized. So what you do, naturalization is your final stage in everything, right? So at naturalization, right. what we have to do, we have to go back and look at the entire process to make sure that you was adjusted and you got that paperwork properly. So if I see you came, you married this person, you got your green card, as soon as you got the two-year green card, because I need the proof of divorce, as soon Look as you got this. the two-year green card, you are... Look um, at this. What if the person is in a relationship and they married someone else for papers and you don't know? Can you report the person even though you're so in when Jamaica? It, when it comes to stuff like How can that, you report those, them? Those poison so pills. Like a pop pan, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. When it comes to stuff like that, getting those poison pens, it depends. Sometimes they take it super serious. Sometimes they don't. Depends on what's written in it. Because the thing is, immigration gets so many of those type of letters. They get so many of those type of letters. So they they do take a look at it, but if they can't really prove what you're saying in the letter, is one of those things where. Do you really want to waste your time? And think about it, right? Let me tell y'all something about life. Hurt people hurt people. They do all type of crazy stuff to hurt you. The time and energy and resources you're going to spend trying to make sure that something else happened to the person is something in life called karma. Whether you believe or you don't believe. They will get theirs in the end. So if they did you wrong, I'm not going to say that. I comment that. I uh, comment that so on a way like... A person there say, yo, I was my man and me and him there and then him left yeah. on the morning. That yeah. I know you heard. It, it, it's a hard pill to swallow. God have better in store for you. Don't waste your time and try to go through all that right let on people just to know that something may happen it may not happen. It's going to be a long lengthy process. Not for, for your mental health, move on move on from that. For your mind, move on from that. Let it, let it. Yeah, your animal come from far and yeah. Him decide say him get yeah. the opportunity and him um, lick your chip and make you hurt. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's yeah, yeah. I now somebody said, can you apply for your citizenship? So if you do it on being on marriage base, it's so. So if you and the person have been married, so let's say you met somebody, y'all got married. You didn't file your green card until y'all been married for five years. Okay, so. We have this thing where we do both at the same time. You can get adjusted and your citizenship at the same time as long as you and that person 
had been married for more than three years. So a, a man named Shango asked, can I file for a child which, which is not in your name, but the DNA proves you are the father? Now that one, you have to take that up with Department of State and the embassy. If the DNA prove you're the father, usually they always go with what the DNA say. But the DNA, you don't have to do the DNA again, more than likely, and get it done by their facility and all that type of stuff. Because a lot of times they don't like to take, like, you know, outside DNA. When they would request DNA, you have to go to, like, their approved people and in a sealed package, and they open it. But it depends on where the child is, right? If the child is overseas, that one would get handled by Department of State, by the embassy at the visa counter, if the child is overseas. <laughs> fun melody. What may I say? That way, say a son hurt and we know say it at. But may I say, probably him going to look like he come back for you. Probably it's just a process he might go through, he might look like he come make it back, he come make you. Sometimes, man do some things without even thinking about the lung or the earth where somebody else has got earth or whatever. So, him go to man, go do something behind your back and, and, you, and, you, and you, um, it hurt you. Don't nobody try mash it up. I'm good at if I don't know if you have a youth theme, but you have to think about the youth if you have youth theme. Don't just don't just think about your earth. Just think about the betterment of the youth. If you have a youth theme, just think about the betterment of the youth. And as a life go, sometimes we, we, we pray for we not always get. Sometimes we pray for a little pebble and them use a river stone and bust with it. And chip off the whole of fire right or so. And make it tough to bleed and leak and have mm -hmm. to do all the crocodile bag. I think it's 17 scandal bag. I now go support that and tell yourself if if, 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 wish bad for him and pray for him get deport because him get deport and come back and I look in your face and I say, boy, I'm a woman, I'm sorry and rare, rare this and then no one say in yourself and you make him get deported if you go through it. He might go, he might go and kill you because he might go say, are you mash it up for him and he might, have, he might have look like for you and him. So, yeah. just hold it and, 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 and save yourself this chest and just come and see you have up a little baby. I don't know if I hear a baby. Just, you don't know. Save the energy and just go and play with the baby. And in time, the baby smile, not cry. Just, if you ever cry, cry some happy tears. Nobody cry and say, look how the boy we kid. Look how him breathe me a run gone. Whoa, you not do that. Hold it, mama. Trust me. You're a survivor, you know. You don't know how strong you is, you know. Because you, from you, can just text that a while ago. You're strong, you know. And a week, a week when you even do that a while ago, strong as strong, because from we you know say you do that. Nine years. Yeah, man, we ask say, man, nine years. Yeah, we know that's a long time, but probably a, a, probably a, a, a big change that are coming in your life, because you're not know worse off than when you and him did that. No, you're not worse off. Remember, you're strong, you know, you're a queen, in a mama. We ask say, man, you have to remember, say, you're a queen, and you could have never be a butter bean or a dinner sardine. You have to just remember, so once you have life, you have hope, you have everything. See? Some of these things that other people are going to give you an opportunity, but sometimes the opportunity they come right out the door, we're not even going to have bird shit for you and give you an opportunity. Because them say when bird shit for you, you're going to get money. See? Mm. Just hold it, mama. Don't give in, man. Yeah, yeah, David. All right, now that you, uh, I know the nine years at and thing, but don't give in. All right, now you feel like you're weak, but you're not weak. You're strong. Illiterate people are going to tell you, so you mean, mama, the boy are wicked and we We're not going to tell you that. A man and woman, they are right. That's a reason with you right now. You have to know how strong you is. You're strong. And all people that say you're strong. Anything of reaching, we're reaching. But don't block your blessing and your baby blessing. Yep. You see me? Don't do it. Because sometimes when we wish bad for people, you know, the generation curse, wicked, you know. It come reach with our it reach with pick me them and when it reach to pick me where I say, Oh my pick me something, pick me, I do nobody nothing. Oh Mr. Salt, Jesus Christ, help me, Lord, murder, I want to pray for me. Just pray for health and strength, mama. Don't pray for, for, for the guy get deported and mm. pray bad for him and say I'm gonna suffer and all of that. Why 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 they might forget him I will get? And if him call, if he apologize, apologize. Yeah, take the apology. Let him go to your chest because remember so you texting right now, you're good all I cry. You good all a cry and it hurtful and then you get angry and then you good all and everyone cheat all your other family them good or evil your new man where you have now. You see me? You good all give you can love the new man the good true. You remember say the wicked boy. 
run with Ghana after nine years, you give him out of your life. You see me? But just remember, you know, everybody, there's always a good way to come out of everybody, no care what. It can't be all that bad. You see me? You yeah, hold it long now, man. So just go on and hold it, man. You can't let it go now. Go on and hold it, mama. You see me? And I'm on a film time now. The energy the way I give him right now, he not even deserve it. You see me? Just save the energy for yourself. Because remember, you're there Jamaica right now. And we're there, you know, so we're there, boy. See him? And we are hold it. You don't hold it. Because remember, you know, you survived last year, you know. I mean, I know how long him run with gone, you know, but you survived last year and you're there, right? Now, this year, and we in a march, you know, and you go on, so. You're good, man. You're gooder than gold, man. How you say, man? Just don't forget to use a queen. You have to just put on your crown. Put on your crown for your head. Take up your crown off of the ground. Take it out of your closet. Take it out of your jar. Take it out of anywhere, mama. And hold it. You hear me say, man? Hold it, man. I remember when you're hungry and a man make you hungry, you just got you a face. Just don't ever have yourself as the worst. Don't beat up yourself and don't eat people because of one man. You hear me say? Understand, mama. He neglect you. Yeah, man, it's a blessing. It's a, you're blessing and go come, man. He's all right, man. You see me? A psycho. Someone will love hard, you know. You see me? And to do it, we love hard. You see, from you survive 2020, you can survive 2021. You see me? Him neglect you. Him all right, man. God no neglect you. You see me? And you no neglect yourself. Yep, yep. You hear me, I say, Mama? Mm hmm I remember, you know, we are no, 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 it's good you don't know we can't raise it anytime you want to raise it because I saw it coming. Now I'm telling nothing wrong. Yes, me. God, God will make a way. It don't, it don't. And you think about the energy, the hurt. You see the time you take and you sit there, you hurt and you thinking about it. Because everybody, and I'm not going to say everybody, but some people been through that type of stuff. I had my own moment. That anger and that hurt and all, let it go. Focus it on you and yourself, putting your mind and your brain at peace together and doing what you have to do for Definitely. your child. Doing what you have to do for your child or whoever, because on top of that, right? When you're sitting around hurt and you thinking about how somebody hurt you, that person living their life. They're not if they definitely worried, and them not busy dead or alive. Yeah. Them not care. If they was worried so about that, you, love <laughs> yeah, they living their life. So and they moving love on. People that's worried about yeah. you call so and check on you. Four children. <laughs> See that she said she gave him dark and lovely. Say she gave a man four children, and him do the same thing. Him run well if I would pick me them. And she said, she said, she said, listen to me, it hurt her, but she, her children good and she good. So yeah. she get over that that hurt there. It's and just hard. know, say, listen to me, God go with him. Yep, it's it's hard. It's a hard situation to deal with, but think of all the lessons that you learn in between, and everything you're doing to take care of you, take care of your children. Don't that's with anybody, right? And that's not just not regular relationship. If you have issues with your family, your friends, all that stuff, don't sit around in life being mad and stressing about nobody that's on and going with their life. Mad car him busy sit down and him there far and I go on him thing. Foreign make for the whole away. Don't feel away. I remember tell you this melody, fun melody. Don't talk about foreign if you don't have a passport. Once you have a passport, foreign the right at your fingertip. But if you don't have a passport, you have to just go get yourself a passport. Because I remember you know, foreign are everywhere. You know. Once you go up on a plane, a foreign you're gone. Because you know. every new, every country where you never go before is foreign. You see me? So just get yourself a passport. And just know, say, I want to hear. I go up on a plane too. I want to hear. Because a plane make for the whole of you know. Mm -hmm. The whole of plane make for. So if you go to and get a flight to Antigua, Barbados, St. Lucia, anywhere, as long as you go up on a plane. Because members say, everybody, I go a foreign. Because remember, as long as you leave Jamaica, they say they are got Cuba or foreign. You go. So what is for you can't be for nobody else? Yeah, and life might be hard where you are now, right? It might seem like it's harder for you, hard in this situation. Everybody in America, life not great. So life probably harder for them too. Because some people work in two, three, four jobs, can't go on no vacation, can't do nothing. Because guess what? Bills have to be paid in America. Bills have to be paid. Definitely. So it's a it seemed like a hurtful situation, and you sad, and you probably and understand that America is there for everybody, right? 
I've been here since I was young. My parents brought me here when I was young. If I had the choice, you know, I, I can't say, yes, I would have been there or been here, but just understand that, you know, sometimes what you think, all that glitter is not gold. The American dream sometimes is not all gold. Like me, I have a son. My child is going to be 15. He getting ready to come to that age where he's going to start driving. You know, it's the scariest thing for me. I'm scared to let my child go out on the road by himself because what if, what if he get pulled over by the police? And that's one of the biggest problems with every had, American parent cry He for. just had one of his cousins got shot by racists in Indiana. Racist man came up on them, shot and killed, and shot and killed the boy. Child had no record, nothing. Good kids. So I understand it's, it's, it's hard, it's bad, but some fears of living, you know, in America, even me, I stay, you have to imagine you have to go somewhere and just be mindful of your surrounding and be careful and move a certain type of way because you never know who woke up racist today and feel like shooting and killing you. Sure that. So the situation sure. hard is hurtful. The person hurt you, you know, whatever, but trust me, stop, step back your mind take a step back you can cry about it for a day or two but eventually sister pull yourself up sis pull it up you have people that's depending on you that other and then once you prepare yourself and you get your mind right you never know god might bring somebody way better and as always of you, course yeah he might bring somebody way better and even if that way better don't come right now right don't stop i'm gonna tell y'all i don't like to give people my story and talk about myself a lot because it's not too much. But I had a child when I was 21 years old. After that, imagine I was the first person in my family to graduate from college. I did that with a child. Right. While being a single parent. My son, dad is there in name. He's a big person. He walk around in name and people think that he's a lot. I personally, I don't like the child support system. I don't believe in going back and forth in court with somebody to force you to take care of your child. So I don't care. Right. He went, he put himself on child support. I was I was supposed to get sometimes $180 a month. Ask me how much we get that 180, right? My mom came to me one day, you know, I used to be mad cuz I'm like I don't have no help and I have to do everything by myself and she was like, "Emmy, listen." She said, "You know, when she brought me here when I was young, my dad stayed back in the islands. She was like, "You turn out all right." She was like, "You have your family?" God is around. Don't stress nobody about no money. If you don't get it, God's going to make a way. And right. I feel like that was a good piece of advice she gave me, right? So even in times where I was stressed out, and I remember one day my son came around and he was like, my mom is rich. So I was telling him, I said, I'm not rich. And my friends were like, take that as a compliment because even with your struggles and everything you're doing, the fact that your child seeing that you are rich that means you are able to provide for your child. You understand? Now he got, he's, he's older. You know, the older kids get, they into stuff, right? Their feet get mm -hmm. big, but these kids like, one pair of shoes for him is almost $200. The boy was size 10. If you want your child to do activities, you want your child to do everything. I have bills, I have everything, every, you know, stuff I have to do, right? But, right. When I started working at one point in my life, I used to be on food stamps and all that kind of stuff. That's a life I never wanted to go back to, right? But I always told God that I need to be able to make a way for my child. That's it. I need to be able to make a way for my child and teach and instill and show him certain things. So, you know, I finished college. I did everything as a single parent. If I told y'all my resume and all the agencies and stuff I work for and what I do, people always like when I tell them, they said, oh, wow, you did all of that? Like, how can you do all of that? And the places I moved and lived and things like that, they were like, you able to do all of that? It's not me. It's God. And on top of that, too, you have to live your life with a clean heart and don't have malice against nobody. People will do you wrong in your life, right? Because that's what people are. And one thing, I don't go to church every day, and I'm like, hallelujah, this and that. With it. I don't know when the last time I went to church. But the last time I went to church, the one thing I remembered, <laughs> the pastor said, God is the only person that know the difference between good and evil and only does good. So when people do you wrong in life, understand that. The wrong that they do, they, you know, that's just what it is, right? 
And yeah. it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Because we are humans. When people do you wrong, your first reaction, we emotional beings, right? Your first reaction is Definitely. to react. Somebody do you wrong, they hurt you, they this and that. Everybody have their moments of insanity. Your first reaction is to react to certain things. But then sometimes you have yeah. to get yourself to that point where you can stop, sit back, understand that the issue, yes, that person did you wrong. But if you look at that person overall, right, they more tormented than you. Because for you to think in your life that it's okay for you to hurt another person, you are the real tormented person. Whatever you did to me, I can get over it. I can get over what you did. I call George or bad mind me. Are the people in the life <laughs> bad mind me if you're not tall enough? Yeah, you can get over the hurt, right? If somebody costs you or put you in a situation where you can lose money, it's just money. You can make back money. God give it, he take. It's just money. What I pray for every day, good health. Right mind. Because people don't understand, not being in your right frame of mind, it can mess up a whole bunch of stuff for you. Being, in, be able, being able to process, understand. Because a lot of people don't have those type of skills. They don't have skills to be able to process and not in a, in a right frame of mind. And it's not because, True. and it's not because, you know, they don't want to be. Because I think everybody would want to be in a good frame of mind, right? You want to have, right. you want to be functioning straight. You want to be able to think properly. But sometimes circumstances and things that happen in people's life, it turn them into evil people. And they don't know how to be good to nobody else. Because they carry around all that weight, all that resentment, all true. that hurt. So when they deal with you, you thinking that it's personal. It's not even personal. It's not even personal. It's just they have so much in them that nobody didn't teach them. These people not surrounded by love. You know, people from young, a lot of people carrying baggage from a young age. From a young age. When, so when people have a little attitude and certain things, I listen, right? Just recently, you know, you hear people, just little stuff people say. When they talk about how they get along with their family, different things like that, you could already see that, you know? They come in from a place of hurt and whatever in their life. So just like mm -hmm. a young lady, she was mad that, you know, he left her, the guy left her, whatever, whatever. It's nothing personal. It's him. He have the issues he dealing with. It's nothing that really personal to you that you did to them, per se. It's issues that they have. And we just have to learn that, you know? Learn how to understand that when people do certain things, we sitting and dwelling on it is taken away from you and your happiness and how you live in on your own. And don't let nobody rob you of that. We all deserve to have a good life. You know, people. Everybody say, deserves to have a yeah, good life. We all Everybody. deserve to have a good life. Your mama did you wrong 10,000 years ago. Guess what? She did you wrong 10,000. Don't carry that with you forever. That's that burden. It's not her fault. She didn't know no better. Because when you know better, you do better. <laughs> you know? It's just. We just have to process, help each other out. Do good to your fellow men, your people. When you see your other black people, even, you know, that same lady, remember I told you at work when she was like, oh, all these foreign people, this and that. I never had no attitude with her. I was nice to her every single day I saw her. I was nice. We spoke. When I was leaving the job, you know, she came, she hugged me and all this kind of stuff. I didn't say nothing to her. People can say whatever they want at the end of the day. Get in that space where be good to everyone you can while you can. Because you don't know what they're going through, what they have what going in their place. Hmm? Impress. One thing me can say, that woman never talk bad and go on with a bag of things. And then when you leave the work, she come hug you. Me never take no hug. Remember, you know, that's, that's the difference between me and you. Richie, I ain't care. You it's know different. why? Because I know I'll never see her again in life. I moved to a different state. I ain't going to never see her again. I'll never need her for nothing. So, sister, take your hood. Let me pass you on some good energy. And hope that everybody that come across your way, and Jesus really people, related. <laughs> you treat them right. One Jesus is really related because. <laughs> oh no no no! Me and Jesus not related, Richie. But you see, when it comes to the workplace and dealing with these people, I leave them at work. That's why I leave them. They will never be have the chance to get in my inner circle. People like that, they will never I come in my inner work. circle. So I leave it's them like at work. Come kiss your jaw. <laughs> it's like it remind me. It remind me like where I watch, where I watch um. Ten commandments are where Jesus show our name. And Peter and Judas come and kiss Jesus pan him jar, so and kiss him pan him jar. And Jesus really <laughs> met the death of the dirty man. Kiss him pan him jar. <laughs> me don't want to kiss him for me jar. I was, right? 
I was surprised she hugged me, Richie, but I said, you know, I couldn't react and say, bitch, get away from me, right? So I just was like, okay, bye. So I told my friend, I say, can you believe so-and-so came and hugged me? My friend was like, you let her hug you? I said, man, I ain't gonna never see that bitch again. Just see, the, the hell with her. <laughs> you see, you say, I'm family. Yeah, I'm Jesus related. You and Jesus cousin. Yo. Yeah, and Jesus and cousin. Come and buy now. I saw Judas go some of and after Jesus said, one of you guys is going to be <laughs> betray me. And Judas jump up. Oh, me, Jesus. Me kill them for you. Me a gunman. I want to hear. Look what people me kill for you. And Jesus would have said, are you going to do it? Tell you dirty junk or you are. That Jesus would say, you know. Jesus really? didn't say that. When the man said, when the man said, Peter, you're going to deny me in front of my father. You're Peter. Me? Jesus, them were kid. Why? After me love you, so Jesus. And by the way, I love Jesus. And I him first when them said, do you know this man here, Peter? Me, me never seen him from a band. She, I let Jesus. She be. betrayed her son, Richie. Because let me tell you why I say I can laugh at them too. She been at the same job for 10,000 years, making way, way, way less money than me, crying and complaining every day. Why they didn't promote me? Why they didn't promote me? Why they didn't promote me? The promotion I got, I was making double the amount of money she making. You've been there for 20 years and you're still in the same spot and you wonder why. But you want to come and tell me about foreign people? As I hug you and I leave you in peace, sister, stay there and keep crying about getting we promoted. Yeah, get energy. Huh? I too but much you, energy that. But you know, I, I told you it was shock when she came and hugged me. I ain't know what. So I was just like, and that's why I told my friend. I said, let her sit there and keep crying about why they ain't promote her and why she's still making her forty thousand dollars and she been there for twenty something years. As I go on to my journey and do and, and move on. So she's you gonna stay, get long service award. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. That's it. If that, if that, because she crying every day, crying for promotion. Because that's another thing. So a lot of them was mad at me because I came from somewhere else and I got in a position that all of them had been trying to get. That's not my fault the people hired me. One thing I must <laughs> tell you, talking to you is very refreshing. It come like a nice glass of cool lemonade when my daughter bad mind my father. It come like a nice glass of lemonade. It does refreshing and nice because it does sound so pure. You know? It does sound pure and it's not, you know, sometimes some people when them, 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 you like, you are listening and you are say, why the person, you know, come off your life now, man. The way you, everything we are telling you, it's so informative, it does so calm and collective, it's cool, like, you drink a whip of ice water, because you just cool, so. Room temperature, ice water not good for you. <laughs> ice water not good for you. That me tell my bad mind that, I know. <laughs> that me tell her, you know, ice water not good for you. Because you know me that a bad mind, me, right? <laughs> <laughs> me not do look a girl nothing in life. And the look a girl does a fight me so. Ask the people them if she don't bad mind me. The whole of them knows that she fight me all the while. And she a jacket, you know? She's a jacket. <laughs> no, she not. She look just like you. <laughs> then, that's why she a jacket. Because how she feel favor me? She a jacket. <laughs> and her next ungrateful brother. Why me I tell him? We need some new picnic. <laughs> Keep the one you have. It's worse. It's worse out there. <laughs> no, me knows I have some better pit me out there. It's worse. It's worse. I have a son. You say anytime you plan for have a next child, I make sure I'm me your link for the baby name. Because <laughs> Come have the best name them for the baby. You say if you want, you, if you get a girl baby and the baby sweet, you call the baby Suavitel. I call the baby Sufflan. I call the baby Downy. You have to give the baby some hot name. And, <laughs> you know, if, be, if you want, if, if it's a girl baby again, and the baby a girl, I call baby, hot pocket. You call the baby hot pocket. Right? You have to give the baby them hot name there. If a Jamaican now, you be a born, and you get a, 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 a baby, like, you know, a boy baby, you have to call the baby, give the baby a tough name, like a jackass can. <laughs> you, have you have to call the baby a jackass can, and them name there. You understand? You can't get the baby to look a soft name. You have to call the baby a cocoa bread and them name there. <laughs> you see me? You have to name the baby a fast. You have to give the name. Anytime, any friend we have, just link me for baby names. Because I sell baby names. You know, I'm going to charge for it. All of them send me a thing like, oh, when I get to the stimulus, and say, let me say, we did it, Joe. Once we get to the stimulus, we did it, Joe. Wish you giving baby names? Once we get that thing, but just say, Melly, we did it, Joe, and get that money. And there's no say, I saw it go. But 
One of those knows that sorry things said. Don't bad mind me for the baby name them. And when the people have blessed me and say, We did it, Joe. And that's no say, Yeah. I saw it go. Empress, you're very appreciated. The whole of we appreciate you, right, Joe. I remember say I can't name Empress and ugly can no Empress no ugly. <laughs> you just don't want to show your identity, your thing loud. No, I understand. I'm, I'm at work. I'm at work, people. I'm I'm still on the people clock, and then when he, when it comes to talking about I don't like beautiful, like colorful me. She bad mind me. <laughs> she live in Canada. <laughs>